Right now, there's a lot of fear still in the market. People are panicked right now. Just look at the fear and greed index. It is very fearful right now. It's been fearful for a very long time. Actually, I can't even remember when it was in greed area. Okay, but Bitcoin fixes everything that I'm about to go over. But what I'm about to go over is very dire and you need to pay attention to what's happening. Let's get into some of these, these uh, reports here. So why is the market scared right now? It is the broader market. The broader market's down a little bit and the market was down a lot on Friday. But here are some things to look forward to. So September 13th of next month, <clears throat> you have the consumer price index. So the CPI is coming out for August. And you know what the CPI is? I'm gonna go over it again. It's the government's way of letting you know what inflation is, okay? It's a government figure. They came out with one that said 9% or 9.1%, and then the next month it came out to be 8.5% uh, inflation. But we all know that inflation has been rising all year long. That has definitely been true, and especially like not just the United States, but also in Europe as well like inflation energy prices holy cow hundreds of percent i mean i think uh france and germany are the worst right now with in, in regards to energy prices they've been going skyrocketing i'm going to give you my take on that so what is happening right now with inflation around the world is that central banks are printing gobs and gobs of money okay not just the federal reserve that just is, is not holding back with inflation. They are not, you know, tapering at all whatsoever. They are going full board, even though they're, when they say they're going to taper, the market actually believes them for a little bit, but then we get to see the price rises in the meantime or in later in later date. Okay. So right now, Europe has crazy out of control inflation with in regards to their their energy prices so what do i see happening i think it's just going to be another excuse for europe to european governments to go ahead and go you know what we're going to print a lot of currency so the ecb is going to print a lot of currency and go help out those people who are suffering from these really high inflation prices okay uh, and whether that, that has to do with global macroeconomics and global geopo geopolitical uh, environment, yes, that has to do with that. But also, we all know that I think that mostly this is a scapegoat for how much they've been printing their currency. Okay, why is Bitcoin going to thrive in this environment? because Bitcoin thrives during monetary inflation. We've seen what Bitcoin has done over the past 10 years, okay? Bitcoin started out very small and has grown to where it's at today, over 19,500 right now. And I don't see that really stopping in the long run because we all know central banks are printing so much currency out of thin air and they can't stop because they have a debt-based system. Their dollar, the U.S. dollar is debt-based. The euro is debt-based. So they have to keep printing more and more currency to keep their currency alive. Also, all this fear about rate hikes, it's meaningless. So inflation, say it's at 9% government figure. We all know it's much higher than 9% because they don't even include food or fuel in those prices but let's just say it's nine percent when they raise rates 50 basis points what does that mean is it meaningful of course not they would have to raise rates if they were really serious about raising rates obviously i've talked about this they do it volcker style where he he raised it rates in the 80s to like 16 to 18 percent that's like being serious about inflation raising it to uh, 50 basis points that, that's that's just putting lipstick on a pig that's that's meaningless so that just shows that they're not serious about inflation and that inflation is going to keep skyrocketing they know that inflation is going to skyrocket too because they're doubling the size of the irs first off 
you know what that means. You, you kind of know why, why they're probably doubling the size of the IRS and they're arming them to the teeth. It's one of the most armed federal agencies in the United States. It's because <clears throat> people are probably going to experience massive amounts of inflation, whether it's this year, next year, and they're going to need, uh, people are going to have to choose, do I pay the IRS or do I feed my family? That's essentially how bad inflation is going to get in the United States and elsewhere as well. So I see this as just being this huge failed monetary ex experiment and Bitcoin is going to absolutely thrive in this environment. If you don't agree with me, please leave a message down below. I'd love to hear your counter argument, but this is just what I see right now. Uh, good luck and I will talk to you soon.